Scruffy Audio Network. Okay. You ready to get started? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hank, are you ready? Yeah. That's that's why I said, are you ready to get started? I was just checking to see if you were ready. Why would I say, are, are you ready to get started if I wasn't ready? I don't know. I'm ready. Thanks for asking. No. Uh, I, you're, we haven't even introduced you yet. Yes. Nobody cares about you yet. Everyone cares. I told you, <laughs> save the jokes and comments until you're called on. <laughs> you ready? Hey, welcome to Why Would You Go There, a podcast about travel. Uh, I'm Troy. This is Lee. And we have a special guest today. What is your name, special guest? Margaret. It's Margaret. Yeah. She likes to be called Maggie. Yeah, uh, she does. <laughs> By the way, are you uh, ready, Margaret? I am so Sorry, ready. Are you ready. Good. I am okay. ready. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Uh, so, and today we're going to talk about where Scotland. Scotland. Whoa! <laughs> High five, man! She knew exactly what to do. It's almost as if she's heard a podcast before. Yeah, yeah. And Just one you, or long two. time listener. Yeah, long. Yeah, she, she was a long time listener and also gave us our longest ever comment. <laughs> so, That's long time true. listener, long, long commenter. <laughs> <laughs> record breaking. Yeah, oh yeah, you're yeah. a record breaker, all right. Uh, so today we're going to talk about Scotland, and uh, as How usual... How many pages of notes do you have, Margaret? Oh, Three yeah. pages. Oh, okay. Just on the front, though. Okay. Just yeah. on the front. Wow. So you guys are going to be carrying the podcast, as usual, because it's someplace I haven't been. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so you many You guys travel I more. I, I need to, and I was planning to go to... Charleston, uh, and then some idiot found super cheap uh, tickets to to uh, my favorite Italy. country. So now I'm going to Italy instead of Charleston. I'm so sorry. I, I, I yeah. know. I hope the listeners feel with bad your for best me. friend. That's so true. My, me and Georgette are going, <laughs> and then we're going with you. So that is true. with, uh, with that my is true. best friend and some random people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be great. It will. So how are we going to get this thing started? I don't know, Margaret. What would you like to talk about first? Getting around. Scotland. Getting around. Oh, okay. I did, getting around Scotland. I did a getting around section. Oh, wow. I was okay. ready. You are prepared. It's on page three, though. Gosh. Okay. Well, so we had a little bit of a convoluted flight plan into Scotland. We flew into Dublin, Ireland, which is in a different country. I, we won't talk about it, though. Yeah, you just did. And then took another flight up into Aberdeen, which is kind of in the Highlands. It's a little bit, it's about three hours drive from where we were going about an hour and a half from Inverness over on the eastern coastline. Okay. So we flew into Aberdeen, and we rented a car there. So if you're doing the Highlands and anything outside of the big <laughs> so cities. So take two flights and get a car took three to flights. get around. Three flights to get three a car. Three flights and a car. But uh, if you're doing anything in the Highlands, so I would recommend a car. Have a car. you got to have a car it, it, it's, if you're it's going not outside like of there's cities. A, uh, a t- yeah, okay. So yeah. we're talking about Scotland as a whole. It's not like uh, there's going to be some kind of – Tube system that's going all through Scotland. You're basically going to have to rent a car, right? They do have trains. Yeah. But oh, yeah. Train. They, okay. they do have trains from yeah. the different areas, but I would I would recommend a car. You're going to see a lot more of the countryside and can stop at will. And Sweet. it's not that hard to drive up there. It's kind of it hard. Is it? It's on the opposite side. Okay. The steering wheel is on the opposite side, and the, you drive Did on you the drive? opposite side. I did drive. Oh, wow. Was it fun? It was not fun. Really? It was absolutely terrifying. Really? But it was not you that just hard. said it wasn't that hard. I mean, not, it, was it was not that hard, but terrifying, yeah. obviously. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think it was that bad over there. Yeah. I think it'd be neat. Yeah. yeah. So, Margaret, how many countries have you been to? So, outside of a couple. Way of- to be prepared. <laughs> yeah. I have three pages of notes on our topic. Thank <laughs> hey, you very don't much. Listen, don't switch the notes around. Yeah, we don't can hear switch, it on here. Everybody, just you just blew everybody's ears out. Yeah. And if their ears are going to be blown out, I want it to be by me. <laughs> Listeners, I apologize. Okay. Have you been able to think about it yet? Yes. <clears throat> That's a no. Yeah. That's eight. a no. Eight, eight countries. countries. That okay, made good. seven and eight. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So is this rank pretty high, middle, or lower? I would eight? say... High. Okay. It it would definitely be below Italy, but I would think above France. All right. <laughs> well, that you're speaking my language because Italy would definitely be at the top, yeah. and then France would be more towards the bottom for me. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, it sounds like we're on the same wavelength as far as places we like. All so. right. So let's talk about Edinburgh, which Edinburgh, which people you know it looks like it's pronounced Edinburgh, but it's not. So let's talk about that a little bit. So you went there, right? We did. We went to Edinburgh. We loved it. We did not. Edinburgh. 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 That was closer. Uh, We absolutely loved it. We did not get to spend 
as much time there as we initially wanted to because then we can backtrack a little bit and talk about this later. Uh, the guys that I was with. We ha- never do backtracking. Well, we're going to. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Somebody seems like they think they own this podcast. Yeah. Well, And I it's mean, not Paul. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Thank you. There's going to be a lot of so that. So the guys that I was with, my husband this and my father-in-law. It's going terribly already. It is not. It's going delightfully. Oh, my gosh. For we're like 10 minutes in and we haven't even talked about anything. Well, we're, we're actually five minutes in, but okay. it feels like 10. <laughs> <laughs> You're That's welcome. <laughs> uh, they got to play golf at the old course at St. Andrews, so we didn't get into town as early as we had wanted, and I missed. Now that's golf. the that's the place where golf was first played, right? Like in the 1400s. Yeah, so it's it's known for being like one of the most famous golf courses the in home the world. Of golf. And I actually went there when I went also, and it's a cool golf course. Really? Uh, yeah, it, it's got the really deep sand bunkers uh, that are like taller than you are in certain places, you know, eight feet deep, 10 feet deep. I don't know how anybody can hit out of some of those. I guess you have to be a pro. Yeah. Uh, but it's a beautiful golf course, and it's it's on the water. So it's, it's one of those places that if you like golf, you know, you can actually play there, which Margaret's husband and father-in-law did, which is pretty awesome. Uh, did they like it? Did they enjoy they, it? They did. They said bucket list experience once in a lifetime. To get to play, it was really difficult for those of you that know about golf. The wind was blowing about 20, 25 miles an hour yeah, the entire looked, time. Every time I see something in Scotland, it looks like, okay, that is cold and windy. It was cold. I walked yeah. the, the entire course with them. Yeah. So it's really interesting. I went in September, and the weather was incredible. It was beautiful. It was like 75 out there, 70 out, and the wind was not even blowing. I mean, it was like phenomenal golf. And what month weather, did you go in? But I didn't get to go. We went in June. Mid-June. In June. Okay, so in June it was cold, in September it was okay. <laughs> well, yeah. the temperature, the ambient temperature was about high 60s, low 70s. But That actually sounds perfect. Yeah, yeah. We actually had great weather when we were there, but with the wind blowing, and they teed off at 530 in the evening. Oh, wow. So yeah. we were there, you know, we got to see the sunset, which was great, but... With the sun Do you typically down. want the sun setting while you're playing golf? Well, I mean, if you're there taking pictures, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But it stays daily. I mean, it did you get a picture daylight. on the bridge, the Swilkin Bridge? Yes, we right. did. The the hole. It's like a, it's like it's a famous uh, bridge on that golf course. That's probably the most well known bridge that it's on and the, the one on the hole. Masters mm-hmm. uh, in in Georgia. Uh, it's on the 17th to the 18th. 17th to the 18th. It's in yeah. the, the fairway of the 17th. And it it's. I guess known for people just going up there and like standing on it and waving as they're walking down. Is that right? Like if in the like from long, long ago or no? Well, as long, long ago that I don't know. Well, I mean, because there's a little ri- the, the little river that crosses through. So there's there's a footpath that that doesn't have an actual bridge. It's just a, a footpath across, and then there's the the Swilkin Bridge. So you have to get across the river if you're playing golf. And I jumped across, by the way, dominated. <laughs> I've got a video of it. I'm gonna post the video. Oh, awesome. I hope you do. Yeah, I hope you look awesome. like a pure fool. Jumping <laughs> I look like a pure bridge. dominant athlete. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> it's in slow motion too. It was, <laughs> it was close. I almost went swimming. Uh, that's for sure. Who was videoing, Miriam? Yeah, yeah, she, my wife. Was she rolling her eyes the entire time? Oh yeah, she was like, "Are you really gonna do this?" Yeah. So yeah, I'm like a little kid out there. Okay, so golfing. Bucket list item. Yeah, bucket list item, and with a little planning, I mean, normal pe- normal people can do it. You don't have to be <laughs> a championship player. You don't have to be Tiger Woods or anything like that to get, get off. Uh, yeah, you say normal people, but normal, decent golfers. You, you do have to prove your handicap, which is oh, yeah. fairly if, easy it, if you've got a little bit of time. Yeah, so how much time does it take to prove a 100 hi- handicap? Well, they would not. They would not let you play. <laughs> they definitely okay. would not they let, me let you play. play. First so of all, they wouldn't let me play. And you yeah, were gone. They wouldn't let me play when I walked up. And they said, "Yeah, this guy cannot." First of all, he can't walk. There's no way he can play golf. And then when I got the clubs out, uh, <laughs> just one club, got it out, and even in the back swing, they'd stop me. They would reach up and grab the club in the back swing and say, "No, nope, you're gonna have to leave, sir." That's it. Yeah. I'm terrible. So, did you walk around the town or no? So we did. We got there early in the day because at, originally we had tried to get into the two-day bid to get them to play, and they didn't get that. Now, what is that? So they open an allotment of times in August, September of the year prior, but we didn't know for sure that we were going to be going because we were for a wedding. Okay. So we didn't enter into that. And then for each we day of golf— We thought the people were going to break up and not get married? <laughs> 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 
just... <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, this they're, thing they're is never not... going to make they, it. They aren't going to make it. We didn't know if we were going to find cheap enough tickets. Cheap yeah. enough tickets. Oh, yeah. So, well, so you just value... This is what I value these friends at. <laughs> <laughs> and if I can get yeah. there for it's, this, It's even worse. Great. It's family. Oh, this is, oh, well, of course. Yeah. This is what I value this family at. I hope these tickets are $5,000 a piece so I don't have to go. <laughs> we went. Uh, yeah. That's all that matters. So then two days before, they open up another daily bid, and you can enter in two days prior, which they don't have golf at all on Sunday there at any of the courses. So then they, we entered that bid, and they did not get that. But because it is a public golf course, all of those courses there are, are public. So they have to – well, that's not a private course. public course. golf course. All those courses there are public. I hate you both. <laughs> What's the time check? How did how well, did, did, did you write that down on your three pages of notes? <laughs> right, what's the time check? Or did, they're all public golf courses. So public equals public. I will say you mentioned that they weren't. You know, they don't do golf on Sundays, but you can actually walk the course. That's when you I went. The I went there on and, Sunday, and people were doing like picnics yeah. and just. I just walked around the whole course and just took pictures. Oh, that's why you didn't play. Sta- yeah, yeah. Okay, stood cool. in sand traps and you know that kind of you stuff. Just and, and, stood in the sand well, traps. I was like, I want to see how, how the sand traps are really be. impressive. Yeah, really, yeah. Awesome. I've got some great pictures of some sand wow. traps. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Uh, did uh, Did Ben get in the bunker? He did. Oh, they did all he get got, out? He did. Wow. Yeah. I've got to, I'll, I'll ask if I can share it with you guys. I'm sure he'll yeah. say yes. But he had to kneel down on one knee on the, the course. And pray? Well, yes. <laughs> and and he's, he's got one leg in the bunker, one knee on the, the grass, and he's like hitting it that way because it was right up against the edge. But he got it out. Wow. Yeah. I like how you said you'll have to ask him, and then you told us the story immediately. Well, no, ask him <laughs> if I can post his picture. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you got to post the picture. Well, People are going to want to see him okay, once we'll post it. Yeah. He's not on social media. It's fine. Yeah, he'll have no idea. <laughs> he won't know. It's fine. We're going to post his picture with his phone number attached to it so people can call, <laughs> call yeah. and say, what They're is going, going on here? But, Wait, yeah. He was proud of that because he got out on the, the first try. That, that, yeah. I can't get out on the first try of a green. <laughs> <laughs> And inter- you bring up a very interesting point. They have d- they have shared greens. They have double greens there. So aside from the first and the 18th holes, you're sharing a green with the way back, which is an added degree of difficulty. Yeah, it is. Because you don't know which yeah. hole is yours. Yeah. You don't know which – well, I, I guess that means you have to definitely mark your ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, you're putting somebody else's ball. And that's, that's not, I, don't, I hear they, don't, they frown upon that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what else? So you played – so now um, you said it's at St. Andrews, right? Yes. So is that actually a town? It is yes. a town. That is a town. It's, it's outside a, Edinburgh. It's, it's about an hour and a half. Yeah. Maybe, maybe about a little, a little less than – Okay, yeah. About an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. Drive. So, yeah. It's, uh, but it's a quaint little town. It's a cute little town. It's, it's, it's good college. to kind of walk around. Isn't that where whatever his name is? William one and of Kate. The, yeah. They met at St. Yeah. Andrews College. Okay. Yeah, I love royalty. I yeah. do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Legitimately. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, but whatever. Move on. There's also a castle and a cathedral, and they sit out on the coastline. It's it's literally Saint Saint Andrew's Castle and Saint An- Andrew's Cathedral. Yeah. And you can buy a, a dual ticket and do both in one. And with that ticket, it gets you a token to go up in Saint Rule's Tower. Did you do that? Nope. Lee? So it gives phenomenal views over. Both the water out to the North Sea, yeah, and then the castle and the town. It's actually really yeah. Oh, cool! cool. Uh, you have really you gorgeous. have some pictures you can share, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. absolutely, okay. awesome. Yeah. Good, good, good. That sounds cool. So, so what let's else? Move on to Do we? We didn't even talk back to Edinburgh. really talk about Edinburgh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so Margaret got a twenty minute sidetrack. You're welcome. Uh, so Edinburgh. Uh, so what what did you do there? What did you like about that? So we got in really late because. You know, golf takes four hours, and they started at 5.30, and then we had to eat dinner and drive. So we got in about midnight, so we only had the next morning, really, and early afternoon there before we moved on. So the main thing there is the Royal Mile. It's a mile that stretches. Okay. And it's royal. Uh, it's, it, it stretches is royal. a mile. Are you going to tell me it's a mile that stretches a mile? <laughs> the Royal Mile is a mile that stretches a mile. From one royal place to another. <laughs> yeah. It connects to the Edinburgh Castle, castle, and to the palace of Holy Root House. Holy so, Root House, which is where Root House, yeah, which is where the Queen currently lives. False. The it's Queen not currently false. lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She lives in London. Thank you. I don't think so. 
Yeah, she lives in she, Westminster, and and what's what's the Buck, one in London? Buckingham. Buckingham, Buckingham yeah. is her main residence. Yeah, so and then weekend so. her weekend the, home maybe is it's Westminster. Not the queen. What is it then? Some somebody still lives there. Well, she goes for a week. She goes for Holyrood week, which was actually the week after we were there. So good timing we because we were able to go in. Okay. We wouldn't have been able to go in if she was in residence. Yeah, of and course. And when she gets there, they ceremoniously hand over a key to the city. And they have a whole big ceremony. And like she just, has, just for this one week that she's there for vacation? Mm-hmm. She goes for a week, and then she her other Scottish res- residence, which is a private residence, is Balmoral, which is in the Cairngorm National Park. That's her private residence. She owns that herself. Sounds like she's, she did a lot of homework on this. Yeah, lady. she did. Anyway. She, yeah, obviously she didn't prepare enough because we like to make stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which so you true. just did by saying the queen, this is where the queen actually lives. She lives in Scotland. She does a week. You guys are a all week. wrong. Yeah, she does a week, yeah. apparently. <laughs> uh, but you can tour it, so. You can. I'm sure she doesn't live there full time if you can tour it. Uh, but the Edinburgh Castle is, it's kind of, it's interesting. It's kind of like perched up on a. Uh, not really a hill, but kind of a hill, I guess, like a rocky foundation, uh, not really like a mountain. But it's it's neat that it's kind of perched up, and you look up and see it and just see it in all its glory. It's kind of it's kind of what you would think like a fairy tale or something. Like you're looking up at it, and you're like, wow, this is really cool. You know, there is literally a castle in this the middle of this city. You know, and, I mean, there's places that have castles, but this is so prominent. And, again, you can see it from different parts of the city. Uh, it's just so cool to look at, and it's beautiful. Uh, and you can you can tour it as well. So you're saying you should? That's it. it yes, we really a haven't must. divided things into must sees. That's a must see. Okay, that, but that is a must see. Yep, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you did that right. We did. We started at the castle and worked our way because it's on a slightly sloping hill. It's actually, maybe more than slightly down to the palace. So we started at the castle and worked our way down. I would ap- absolutely say that's a must see. It's it's much more than you would think when you hear just a castle. It's this whole enclosure of essentially a, a fortress of a small town. It sounds yeah. like Westminster. It, it cuz that's how yeah, I mean that's how Westminster is and it, and it sounds a I little think bit like the Tower of London but on a bigger scale. Yeah, I mean I I think that Yes, this is more of a castle in my mind than both of those. Not that those aren't, but this is like what I would think of as a true traditional castle. And again, I, I mean, it's like there's there's so, you can tour it, so you can see that there's all these different rooms have all these different things. And um, but you said that there's a there, there's a, a wall surrounding it, and there's grounds inside. Also. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. correct. Yeah, yeah, and they have a. A field gun that they shoot off every day at one o'clock, so you can go up there and watch that. And uh, it used to be a cannon, but of course they don't shoot the cannon anymore. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Why so not? I'd say that's another. one. I don't know. Maybe right. they're afraid they'll hit somebody. I have no well, you idea. don't. Have, you can pack it with wadding and not with a <laughs> cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just seems like a waste. Yeah. I okay. imagine it has more to do with the cannon's age. Yeah, uh, it could be. Probably. It's probably not safe to yeah. fire anymore. Oh. It's- Good that you guys are making stuff up. If you'd be a little more convincing, that'd be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't say it's probably. Say, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's The canon's too old. To, and then just say it like you mean it. Well, I mean, the castle's from the 12th <laughs> century. Do. Okay, so that's it's a good. Touch old. Uh, that's just a number you made up, and you, <laughs> you sounded convincing there. So good. I love how she's showing you on her paper like that means it's not made up. Uh, but it houses the honors. It says right of- there on the paper fake age. <laughs> yeah. Make up age. <laughs> Fill in blank. <laughs> It houses the honors of Scotland, which is their crown jewels, too. Uh, and then it's got the Scottish National War Museum, which is pretty cool. You can tour that also. Mm-hmm. So it just shows a bunch of uh, you, you, basically anything to do with war. And it shows their different, like, armors and guns and, you know, the all war that kilts. Good stuff. Yeah. They have war kilts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So some of the coolest things about Scotland, in, in my opinion, was people walking around in kilts and then. The bagpipes, you know, just like yeah. intermittently, yeah, just going. Oh, you can just hear them randomly. Yeah, I mean, people are, you know, a lot of people are doing them for like, uh, you know, for money or whatever, is like a a tourist thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's some of that, and then like when we were there, there were a few different like weddings and stuff, and of course, oh, yeah. you know, they're doing the traditional stuff, and uh, people are in their kilts, and yeah, the bagpipes are playing. I mean, it's just. Did really you wear a kilt? Cool. No, I did not. And yeah. some of the standalone <laughs> castles will have their own bagpiper out front. 
just okay. create ambiance. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's really nice. very cool. Yeah, you say standalone castles. You make it sound like there's a ton of castles. There are a ton of castles. Yeah, wow. in Scotland, yes. Not necessarily in Edinburgh. No, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, I mean. All over the place. All over yeah, yeah. the place. And it's yeah, we went to one, and yeah, so people that would come up, they would, you know, and drive up to it that weren't like tourists like us. They'd start playing the bagpipes, of course. You know, so oh, wow. it, was, it, was, it was fun to Kinda watch. Cool. Yeah, so I immediately thought, oh, this has got to be somebody famous, and then I figured out, yeah, it's probably not. I mean, it could have been, but I'm like, yeah, it's probably not famous. So that was cool. So what else? What did you? So the big part of Edinburgh Castle, Bruh. Edinburgh, Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh. I can't believe What's Lee up, doesn't bro? want to mention this. What's up, bro? But it's got Saint Margaret's Chapel. Yeah, totally went up by that. Yeah, because Saint Margaret. I think I had to use the bathroom there. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but, Saint, uh, so you love Saint Margaret? She goes by Mags too. She yeah. does. <laughs> so true. She, did, she goes by Saint Maggie. But it is the chapel itself is one of the few surviving structures from the the twelfth century portion of. The structure, because obviously there's wars and sure the just decay, decay of time. Yeah. They had to Whoa. rebuild portions, but it Ooh. and it's actually <laughs> it's actually the oldest building in Edinburgh. Really, St. Margaret's Chapel is. Uh, and you would think you would think that it would be a, a chapel or a church would be the oldest, you know? Yeah. And there's a pet cemetery in the <laughs> castle. Did you see the wow the dog with the nose that you're supposed to rub? I did, but I didn't. You didn't yeah. rub the dog's nose. Yeah, is that I did. supposed to give you luck or something? Yeah, I it's can't remember what it is. Miriam, my wife, told me, and yeah, that's been like two years ago. She said, so "Rub this dog." Definitely nose. didn't remember. It. Well, it's it's famous, and it actually you can tell people have rubbed it because like the polish is. I mean, it's like gold, and the rest of the statue is like black yeah. or something uh-huh. or gray. I don't remember. And I know I've got that? a picture. We'll, we'll post that? it. It's somewhere like right off the Royal Mile, but I can't remember, and I don't even remember the significance of it. It's great way to prepare. Yeah, that's right. Well, I you didn't really care. You I thought really Margaret didn't. was was carrying it. How's she doing? She, I was like, oh, dog, Margaret is definitely going to cover this. How's she doing? You are sorely disappointed, aren't yeah, you? At this point, pretty mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, here for the, the ride. good news is we've gotten through one inch of her notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's so sad true. but true. Oh, uh, I know. I can, I can tell what you're thinking. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to talk about this for 20 minutes. Uh, where did you stay? Did you stay in a B and B or hotel? We did an Airbnb. Or? We did Airbnbs the entirety of the trip, so we were. I was talking about in Edinburgh. I don't care about the rest of it yet. Okay, well that answered yeah, your well, question. Yeah, the yeah. answer is yes. Okay. So you stayed in Airbnb? We did. Okay. It was actually one of our favorites. It was, it was just on a side street a little bit out. How many were in, on this trip? You and your parents and it was, Ben? It was just me, my husband, Ben, and my father-in-law, Jerome. And your father-in-law. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. it was three of us. Yeah. Okay. There were other family members in in the area, but they didn't travel with us. We met up with them. Obviously. In, yeah. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they they knew. Yeah, they they were like, yeah, no, we're not traveling with them. Does it tell you anything about your personal life? <laughs> there was other people there. We saw them and waved. They ran. It's true. We actually did honk at them while we were driving by, and they didn't. Oh. They didn't look like they were. Oh no, they us. didn't. Yeah. Oh no, they didn't. Anyway, so so what's next? What what else are we talking about? So we stayed at the Caledonian, which is a Waldorf Astoria hotel. You know, I like to stay at the Hilton properties, the Waldorf Astorias. And it was really nice, and it was it was one of those places where it offered like a great view of the castle up on the hill. So we had a, a fantastic room uh, that just you could look out and see it. So it was it's so photogenic. I mean, again, it's such a beautiful place. I, it's hard to kind of put into words what it what it looks like because you're just walking around and you see this this beautiful castle up on a hill. So, um, yeah, I'm anxious so was, to see the pictures. Yeah. I'm was, pretty sure you've shown it to me before and I just dismissed yeah, them. Probably. Yeah. Uh, but it, you it, can look at mine. Yeah. I'm more anxious <laughs> to see that, <laughs> but it was really nice. So all of his pictures have him with his arms raised, like in a victory, like an idiot. I, I mean, I, I really want to see the <laughs> castle. I conquered not the city. Of course. That's exactly <laughs> what you're thinking. Uh, Actually, I have, I don't even post that many of me. Thank you. Of you. Yeah. yeah, everything you send me. Every time I say send me, a something, different. It's, if I send it to you, then post it. Oh, send me the pictures that don't have you in them for posting in the in the future, please. I don't. Really, nobody cares about seeing you. Anyway, Margaret. Uh, yes. So, what else did you do? Anything else in Edinburgh that you really liked? You wanted to mention? Yeah. So, well, the main one would be the palace because, yeah. like, like we mentioned earlier, I'm a huge 
fan of the royals, and that is the monarch's home when when the the seat the palace. So you can do tours of that, and you can see, you know, where Mary Queen of Scots stayed and where her courtier was yeah, murdered. Cool. That sounds you can, cool. You can tour through all those rooms. You're not yeah. supposed to take pictures, though. Oh yeah. So how many did you take? <laughs> A lot. Rebel. Uh, you sound like Lee. Says, yeah, that's true. See, he he likes to rest his camera right on the sign that says don't, don't take, take a picture. Pictures. Yeah. I need to use this to steady my camera as I take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So Okay, so what else about Scotland? We are we are mo- need to be moving along. What else besides Edinburgh are the other places that you really have to see? I'm not done with Edinburgh yet. Please get done with it. Yeah. yeah you know what you're so not the, done, but all of our listeners are. You know what's interesting <laughs> is they have all these old old buildings there and castles and stuff and then the Scottish Parliament is like like 15 years old, and it's like an ultra-modern looking building, so that's And it's cool. right beside, it's almost yeah. basically right beside the palace, so yeah. it's very So another thing you shocking. can tour. Cool. So, did you have anything else that you wanted to talk about? We in- did, we went into St. Giles Cathedral, which is on the Royal Mile, so I would absolutely recommend that. But then we also did the, the tour, the Real Mary King's Close tour. Did you do that? No. So, Closes were these alleyways back hundreds of years ago where they were named after the prominent individ- the most prominent individual there. So this one was rare because it was named after a woman because nobody likes women. Um, <laughs> You've got my attention. <laughs> and so after her husband died, she took over as the most prominent and they were they were on the floor they were on ground level originally, but since it was used as a close where they lived and worked and had their shops, they've built the Royal Exchange above it, so it's now actually underground. So you can go in and take a tour and see where they lived. And cool. Ha- there's displays about the, the plagues that came through, and they explain how they lived through all that and how the the police and the ambu- – well, the health services at the time. <laughs> health well, services. Not ambulances. Ambulance. Health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ambulances. The health services then. was some guy – Taking your dead body and throwing it on the burn pile. <laughs> and this is when they had, you know, the masks with the crow noses. Oh, too. yeah. The plague mask. Yeah. Yeah. So that was thin. That was really – it was about an hour I think they. Tour. I think they thought they, – they put something in those masks to kind of make sure uh, that the vapors herbs, didn't get to them. Yeah. Herbs and spices and yeah. things like that to, to filter it because yeah. they were – Kentucky Fried Chicken. They thought <laughs> – 11 of them to be exact. They thought that uh, it was the bad smells, yeah. which it yep. was because it's the germs in the air. But they thought if they smelled in good smells, it wouldn't wouldn't yeah. infect them. So they were inadvertently yeah. protecting themselves. We have themselves. a picture of uh, Georgette and I in plague mask up in our house. Yeah. Well, you all are the plague, so. <laughs> no, we were protected from it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a true story. We have a picture of Georgette and I in Plague Mask. I believe you. Yeah. I don't think you'd lie about that. No, I wouldn't. I'm going to post that. I have nothing else to contribute as far as pictures go to this podcast, but yeah. that dang picture is it's going up. Your picture of you in the plague. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so what, so what's next? What, what, what else, what else in Scotland are we visiting? Do you have anything else in Edinburgh or no? No. You've got to okay. be done with Edinburgh by now. Shut We've it. been going on for Shut 30 it. minutes. This is, this is not a three-hour podcast. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> so... I want Keep to the talk music, about ben. the Royal Yacht Britannia. Uh, the Queen still uses it there, so you can you know go down by the the water and see that if it's there. Uh, that's kind of cool. And then Arthur's Seat. Have you heard of that? Did you heard hear of that? it? We just okay. didn't have time. So it's an extinct volcano that you can hike on, basically. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't really look, you know, a lot like a okay, volcano not anymore. Not as cool as it was it, just it thirty does. seconds ago. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's basically like a it's really close to the castle Edinburgh Castle a castle that's probably like a mile or two and it has just tons of different walking paths and that you can you know walk around and hike up and see these phenomenal views of the castle the castle and the city and you know the water uh, just I mean it's just phenomenal views it's got to be the best views in, in the whole city uh, as as far as being able to see the did city. you go up there. We did not. Okay. Yeah. So, so he could be lying right now. No, I've no, got pictures. Yeah. I've got yeah. pictures. I'm that sure I, I have heard, one of... I, that I've heard People told well. you to go there. Did you, you just I just t- didn't have time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and she doesn't like exercise, so... That too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really not, like, too too difficult. I mean, you know, if you pace yourself, it's not that bad. So you could do it in a few hours, you know, two or three hours or something like that. But it, it does. It offers some phenomenal views. So I would say that is a must-see if you, if you go there. Uh, and... What was great about it 
for us is when we went, it was like misting rain a little bit. Uh, so we got to see some rainbows. So, oh, okay. I, yeah. So, yeah. so I got some cool pictures with like some rainbows on top of this very green, like lush hill, uh, with a little bit of the city in the background on some of them. I mean, it was, it was really, really beautiful. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Very photogenic. So that's kind of what I would say. I mean, I, I just remember that's probably the thing that's other than the castle that sticks out in my mind the most from that trip because it was just such. So if you're going to Scotland, I mean, we spent a lot of time on Edinburgh, but yeah. if you're going to Scotland, that's probably one of the places that you, you, you've got to see because that's the most yeah, popular city in Glasgow loved. are the only two really popular cities in Scotland. Am I wrong? Uh, like They're definitely the biggest. Probably the biggest. To, Aberdeen probably to fly into yeah those are mm-hmm. those are the big ones so you're probably going to fly into one of those if you're using like a major airline yeah. you know you're okay. not flying a smaller one so um, you definitely have to spend some time there and then what else do you have outside of that do you like Edinburgh did you did you get to Glasgow we did because okay. we flew out of Glasgow back okay. to Dublin. You're spending time there we did okay cool so we left Edinburgh and we tried to go to Stirling Castle which I would absolutely recommend stopping in Sterling and going to that castle. We got there about 30 minutes after they closed, though, unfortunately, so we didn't get to go in. But we got. But to the castle the was cool from the outside. It was cool from the outside, <laughs> and the views were great. But uh, And that's also they have a William Wallace monument in oh, that area. Yeah. Freedom! <laughs> oh, you did like that so well. Yeah. yeah, Just like that. Wow. And that's, it's, that's it's about cool. equidistance between Edinburgh and Glasgow, so if you're driving. So I'll give okay. another shout-out. Margaret and I... We follow this, this girl on Twitter who's uh, really interactive, and her name's Kara D. Domizio. Sorry, Kara, if I totally botched your name. But she's got a really good article on Linlithgow, uh, which is a place that my wife and I were debating on going to, but we kind of ran out of time. So if you if you want some good information on that, you can check out Kara uh, at Kara D I D O M I Z I O. Uh, so that's a good place, kind of close to where you were talking about, close to Sterling. And it's very short, you know, drive or train ride from Edinburgh. So that's one of those places that if I go back, I'm probably going to go there. And Kara and her friend Bailey also have a joint venture called Pico Travels. Yeah. And they have a joint blog post about Edinburgh. Yeah. That okay. was really yeah, yeah. helpful for That me. was helpful for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Good what enough. else? So then we went on to Glasgow. Yeah. Which- I don't hear about that. This was not my favorite. <laughs> really? Did not. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The two, the two things we did were the cathedral and the necropolis. So. Keep going. We're doing great on time. <laughs> Everybody. According to who? Me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because you expected that's it to be four hours. That's what counts. Okay, so you did so the cathedral. We did and- the cathedral and the necropolis, which is right across a, a, a bridge. You can, you overlook. The cathedral. So that, is the that like a cemetery? It is a yeah. cemetery. There's approximately fifty thousand people buried there, with approximately thirty five hundred monuments. Still alive? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> fifty thousand people buried there, and probably thirty five hundred of them are still alive. <laughs> They're just buried up their neck. Somebody comes by and feeds them every day. Oh god! So it's thirty seven acres, but. I s- and I guess it's on a hill? Yeah, oh, That's is. a yeah. lot of cemeteries yeah. in 37 a, a lot of dead bodies. The worst part was when I was telling my husband and father-in-law about this, I misunderstood when I was reading. I told them it was 37 square acres, which is not the same thing yeah. as 37 acres. So I panicked yeah. them just a little bit when I was yeah. like, we're going to tour yeah. this place. That is, 37 square acres is pretty big. Yeah. Which we didn't even tour That's a country. Whole. So did you like it? Was it worth touring? It was. We didn't go, obviously. We did not go in the full amount. You can you you walk right in. You can walk up some hills, go to the top, and get some phenomenal views of dead of, people. Yes, <laughs> tombs uh, of the cathedral. Yeah, from from behind and across the river. So I would absolutely recommend it. it it's neat. You so know. you like that, but but I always. I uh, feel like Glasgow was kind of more of a cutting edge city. It's the industrial. Yeah, it's the so, industrial uh, capital. Okay, so why did why did you not like it? What was it? A, what was about it that that didn't that you didn't think was interesting? Our main interest when we travel is history and and. Now, by our, do you mean mine? And then my husband is forced to have that. No, interest? <laughs> no, he actually truly enjoys. Cause, and so do I. But you also want to see. You know, he enjoys seeing the construction and the yeah. The buildings, sure. so he enjoys the historical aspect of that. Where I'm, I'm about the queens and yeah. kings and all of that aspect. So 
same history. It works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it is. It's the industrial capital, whereas Edinburgh is the real capital, and it, you know it's got the palace and the castle. So Glasgow is much more work oriented. There's everything's just business driven. Yeah, which also makes it seem like they would have uh, better restaurants. We had in a Glasgow. phenomenal dinner in Glasgow. It was really good. Yeah, it was at the corner, the grill on the corner. That would, that would seem like that would, if, walked, if it's industrial yeah. driven, that it would seem like they would have better restaurants, more money, mm-hmm. probably more money than Edinburgh. And they have great street art too. When we were wandering around in the morning before the cathedral opened. Yeah. We went to – they had great street art. So if that's something like you're interested. Like what? So there was one that – so St. Mungo is the the patron saint of Glasgow. And it's actually St. Mungo. Saint Mungo's <laughs> Cathedral is, is the Glasgow Cathedral. It's the actual cathedral, and he's buried there. But there's, you know, murals of, of him with animals. Oh, and okay. Space uh, murals. Paintings and uh, so forth. A woman breastfeeding. <laughs> and, <I> mean, <laughs> So the three now things we know the like three it. things that stick out for you is a, a man, a saint with uh, animals. Uh, did you say space stuff and like breastfeeding? <laughs> <laughs> that's so well, bizarre. Obviously, when you think street art, that's yeah, what comes to those mind, are the right? things that I think of. Uh, I can't tell you how many breastfeeding pictures we have at the house we purchased from <laughs> street art. <laughs> uh, no, okay. street art is when there's actual paintings on the side, the huge size of the buildings. Oh, that's what you're doing. murals. Mural, yeah. Okay. Okay, I didn't know what you were talking about. I, I, I assume when you said street art, you meant like vendors, people. No, just on the these are just their... on the huge, oh, okay. on the five, okay. six, seven story buildings, yeah. just on the whole. And I had a seven story breastfeeding. <laughs> I was probably taller. <laughs> Look at the size of that boob. <laughs> oh you, you could not see. You could not see that. <laughs> oh man! How do you know she's breastfeeding there? Maybe she's just holding the baby. Maybe uh, the the implication. It was, it was a woman with a towel over her shoulder and a, and some bulge. We assumed was a kid that she was breastfeeding. I took a picture. I'll show you later. Okay, we'll, we'll let you know. What we, you, and we you might can post let me know it. What we you might po- post this breastfeeding picture. I know one of us won't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet one of us will actually check it out but on Instagram, not Twitter. Uh, yeah, yeah, it won't it, be on it, Twitter. It might be on Instagram. We'll see. Well, you don't know. You might want to post. I will this. not. I will not post it. <laughs> I, you know, if you want the trashy side of our podcast, you can go to your stuff. If you want the classy stuff, then you come to Twitter. Yeah, it has definitely gotten <laughs> trashy, trashy lately because all I've been posting is pictures of you. Because <laughs> that's all you send me. But uh, is, okay. are his arms up? Victoriously? Yeah, always, always. Look, I'm Good. victorious. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? What yeah. else do we need to talk about for Scotland? Hurry up, Margaret. Jeez. Okay, so Loch Ness. Are we, we're going to talk about Loch Ness, do, right? Well, you're in charge of this yeah, thing. So I'm do done. It. I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. Oh, I spent like, well, sit back, boys. I spent like three days in, <laughs> Just three or back. four days in, in Scotland, and the rest of mine was in Ireland. So when we talk about Ireland, I'll have a lot more to talk about. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so tell us about Loch Ness. So did Loch- you see Nessie? We did not. And did you look for Nessie? Did you see Lockie? We did. Lockie's not a thing. Oh. So Urquhart Castle. I don't think the net Loch Ness is a thing either. Yeah, it is. No. Loch Ness is Lake Ness. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a lake, dude. It's it is. a thing. A yeah, I know a lake. it's a lake. All right, so go ahead. So Loch Ness. Yep. And it's got Urquhart Castle is the ruins that you can visit on that are on Loch Ness. And they've been around for, for centuries. They've been in disrepair for centuries at this point. Go ahead. What are you shaking your head for? I, I'm sorry. I'm reading my emails while I'm waiting on you to talk, actually. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so proceed. So I'm the, interested. So the ruins are actually gorgeous. All, we've got some great pictures because it was a fluffy blue cloud, blue sky, white cloud day. You could just see everywhere out on to the, the lake, the lock. And it was a stronghold because – at times when trade was only coming in via water, you could see people coming from both directions and stop them and tax them or kill them and loot them. Then really tax them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could let them pass if they were they were friends or people you wanted to be friends. And uh, Loch Ness became a legend when they were trying to you know, bring Christianity to the, the Picts, which were living there at the time. And the water they believed in water monsters – and he said that he was out on a boat, and he, St. Columbo, Clum, yeah, was out on a boat and was a, attacked by this monster, and he, he told him about Christianity, 
and therefore he, he let him go. So they became Loch Ness. That was the only, you know, sighting of him. <laughs> no, there was a sighting in the 70s. I saw pictures. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> okay, so what did you do there at Loch Ness? You went to Loch Ness. You, yeah, you we, saw that. yeah, we went to Loch Ness. So you can drive around. You can drive around both sides, but we only drove around the west side. Yes, west side. And West the, side? Just like that. <laughs> And that's the side that Urquhart Castle is on. And then Inverness is up above it. So we drove through Inverness. We saw the Inverness Castle from, from the exterior. I was driving at the time and couldn't find a parking spot. There was oh a lot God. of traffic. You, you. <laughs> it's a bit stressful. <laughs> so we left. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. We, we've, <laughs> okay, we drove. We've driven all over Skyland. We're <laughs> at Long Ness. We can see this. It's, we're only going to be back here once and <laughs> oh, never. No. Yeah. And uh, well, oh, no, they can't find a parking there's, spot. There's How only long one of a drive time? was it? Well, we went to Urquhart Castle. Yeah. We went to that one. We we drove by Inverness because it's not actually yeah. How open. long of a drive was it from there? To our next location. Okay, just forget it. Just yeah. go ahead. It was long enough that if there's not a parking space, you're not going to stop. <laughs> there's, forget about just pulling off the side of the road. It's well, not you possible. You can't go – you can only go in one tower. So mostly it's viewing it from the outside anyways. Yeah. And it just wasn't a so high just, interest level. You just level. drove around it. Yeah. yeah. So then we left from there and went – and. Absolutely. If you're driving, if you're going north of Edinburgh, you need to drive through the Cairngorms National Park. Okay. It's this huge park. It's, it's a park. park. It's, it's a national, a national park. park. Yeah. And Balmoral, which is the I previously mentioned the Queen's private residence, the monarch's private residence, is in. Now I hear she lives there. She she <laughs> she does full time. <laughs> Don't sidetrack her. <laughs> she goes in August usually to stay. And uh, and lays in July. <laughs> <laughs> totally accurate. Uh, so what so is this? Con- what is it? What the Cairngorms? What'd you say? Cairngorms. Cairngorms. Yeah, Cairngorms. So what is it? Is is there anything specific? It's, is there it's anything? farmland. It's mountains. It's I think Cairn is hill. Okay. Probably. Yeah, I think it is. So what did you see there? It's, what were you? There were a ton of sheep. Oh, you love sheep. Did you see your your Scott or your Scottish yeah, Highland Scottish cow? Highland. Yeah. I did. I saw two. A what? Oh wow. So they're the furry cows. Oh the really yeah. furry ones. Oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, we saw we saw two at a basically a Scottish Highland cow petting zoo, the equivalent of a petting zoo, but they were closed. So I got out and saw them and left a donation for taking a, I took a pic I took pictures. Yeah, okay. I mean so they were closed. Why did you leave a donation? Just kidding. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you saw stealing. those. You saw oh, those. Really? Yeah, you're They're stealing closed? a picture. <laughs> you can't, you're, you're stealing a picture. Yeah. I did bebop um, up in their backyard to take oh, these pictures. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So yeah, you felt guilty about a little bit. Yeah. About trespassing. Trespassing. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so and then you saw a bunch of sheep. We did, and they were they were everywhere. There were inside fences. There were outside fences. It's just, it's just as far as the eye can see, this farmland with sheep, and they have places to pull off so you can let people. Any pass. sheep like in the road that you had to stop and wait on them to go by? Or Unfortunately, like no. There were some sheep that were pretty close to the road, yeah. so I thought maybe. Yeah. But no, there were. They did have a ton of beware of sheep in the road. Beware signs. of sheep in the road. <laughs> yeah, we didn't Caution. have that in Scotland either, but we had it in Ireland. Anyway. Yeah, it sounds it, it sounds like a uh, romantic comedy or something where you're just driving through and then there's some sheep walking around yeah. in the road and and What's you and your partner about that? you and your partner get stocked on the on the road and you hit a bump and then you have you to, and your spouse and your father-in-law yeah, <laughs> yeah. with the father-in-law that kind of ruined it right there well I don't yeah. understand the sheep so yeah it's just riding through the countryside oh, okay. it sounds like some movie I mean I, not any particular movie that I'm thinking oh. about but it sounds like the scene from some movie. Gosh. Is- All right, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> so and what you, can, else? you can tour a portion of Balmora. You can tour the grounds because it is a private residence. So you can go in one room, the ballroom, and you're not supposed to take pictures in there either. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but the the grounds are gorgeous and uh, sweet. Prince Albert bought it for Prince, Prince for Queen Victoria back in yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And they tore down the house and rebuilt in 1856. Oh, cool. So it's been there since 1856. So, so tell me, we're, we're kind of getting close to our allotted time per podcast. We have to pay for these by the minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you owe us a lot of check. money, Margaret. <laughs> Get out your checkbook. <laughs> uh, uh, so bring your wallet. So tell me about what's 
something that uh, we that we haven't talked about that you think we is of particular interest that we really have to touch on. And then after that, I want you to start thinking about how you would rank the places that you saw, uh, and and kind of tell me, okay, these are the things that I think you have to see. These one or two, and these are the things that I think if you have a little extra time, you you should. You should try to see, and then I know towards the bottom will be Glasgow because you said it sucks. And Dublin. <laughs> I know it's not this podcast. That's, not, that's the wrong <laughs> podcast. <laughs> wrong country. Ta- we're wrong country. We're not talking about Dublin. I know you like yeah, you about should other also places. avoid New Orleans, but we're not talking about New Orleans. Okay, so one other place I would like to mention is the Dunrobin Castle in Golsby. It's up in the Highlands. It's the northernmost large house castle. It's the the private home. There was the the seat of the earls and dukes of Sutherland, and it's right on the water. Oh, that's where Savelli's is. It's right over here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Accurate. Okay, go ahead. And that was the first thing we did when we, after, you know, on our first full day in country, and it was just, it was misty. They had a bagpipe. It's this castle on the water, and it was just, it felt very Scottish. Yeah, it just, that's awesome. It was exactly what I thought. Scotland would be so that was really neat, especially that it was on our first day. And they have a falconry exhibit cool. and a museum yeah, of all cool. the animals that. They- Did you catch one on your arm? No. Did you I- see any any of that kind of stuff where you got to see somebody letting one go and bringing? Yeah, one back? it was a whole whole exhibit. We've got a video of oh, one flying cool. right by, and oh, he, yeah. he did a whole exhibit of. Oh yeah, that's really cool. The different falcons yeah. and I like birds that, kind of that they use, and there was a museum of all the animals that the the dukes and duchesses had hunted over the years and stuffed. <laughs> That's wonderful. There's, yeah. It was yeah. pretty awful, but it was pretty – Yeah. Was, I mean, it was neat. Yeah. It was that's awful, what, that's what people neat. used to do back in the day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, back in the 1800s, that's what you did. And there's this giraffe head coming out of the middle of the floor. Wow. <laughs> I had a picture cool. taken with Yeah, that sounds really cool. I love that Margaret, like all these castles and stuff, she knows who was in them previously. And I'm like, oh, cool. There's a cool-looking castle. That looks neat. All right, next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her brain's a little bigger than yours. What are you trying to say? I, said, I think I said it well. I didn't really try. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, I said that we were going to talk about maybe kind of wrap it up a little bit. But before we do that, I want to talk about food at all because I want to know if you ate a scotch egg and what other food that you had there that was What incredible. is a scotch egg? Okay, the answer is no. Uh, you, don't, you don't know what a scotch egg is? Margaret doesn't try really anything. You know this, right? Yeah, did, okay, did you eat chicken wings? Chicken fingers, I assume. Uh, no, a scotch egg is a, a boiled egg, a soft boiled egg, wrapped with – so they, they soft boil and then take the, the shell off, obviously, and then encase it in some kind of meat, usually sausage, and then they encase it and then they wrap that, roll that in breadcrumbs and deep fry it. That actually sounds like something it's, I would eat. I didn't see delicious. that on any menus, you, It was on some menu. You just oh, okay. didn't see it, yeah. I did try avocado for the first time there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man. Uh, again, we're not talking about Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I tried avocado for the first time in the furthest place north that you would never see yeah, an avocado. So uh, did you also try coconut for the first time there? <laughs> no, I don't like coconut. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Fun fact. <laughs> okay. So, so what what else did you try? This is Scottish. <laughs> not avocado. So not myself because <laughs> Let's be real. But uh, both my husband and father-in-law tried black pudding, blood pudding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had black pudding. They actually were fine with it. Terrible. Yeah, agree. Terrible. It's terrible. It's got too much iron in it for me. Did you try some haggis? No. You didn't? (laughs) My husband had said he would if we were somewhere where they were known – if we were at a restaurant where they were known for for good haggis. But he wasn't just going to try it off of any old – My wife loves that stuff. I've had haggis multiple times. She loves that stuff. I I told it's, I said that I would try it. And he too. said I would like it. it it's it has a, like like a bite on your tongue, uh, not as bad as the black pudding. Yeah, not but, at all. But from, it's, I mean, it's from all the blood. Yeah, from, the, from all the innards. There's not as much yeah. blood in there, but there's liver in, and yeah. and all those other innards, and you know, you know, it's boiled in a sheep's stomach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes oats and all this up. stuff boiled in a sheep's stomach. Who's yeah. excited for lunch after this? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, so you tried basically nothing Scottish other than avocado, <laughs> their national fruit. <laughs> yeah. No. She's the worst person that you could have asked to try anything from any country, I think. Okay, so yeah. We did tell have me. some really good steaks, and we had some really good Italian. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Moving on. So tell me about – so 
I'm somebody's listening to, to this and they're thinking about going to Scotland. And they've you, turned it off before. Now, okay. long before now. Somebody accidentally <laughs> got on the podcast with, within the last two minutes and haven't turned it off. And they're, and they're thinking about going to Scotland. Welcome, listeners. So, <laughs> so tell me what are the what are the cities that you're like? Okay, you have to go to these cities and you have to do these two or three things. And in in summary, this is your, basically your in summary. So, so make it count in a short time. Final thoughts. <laughs> Okay, final thoughts. Definitely. In summary. I didn't want to steal your in summary, oh, okay. and then you say, wait to care right, hurry and up. steal You're losing things. your time. You got 10 seconds final left. Final thoughts. Go to Edinburgh. All right, it's over. You're probably there anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because I was going to do that. I was waiting. I was going to give her one more yeah. second. Do okay, the, anyway, Troy. What did we <laughs> Do the Royal Mile because you can pack a lot in, in a relatively short amount of time in Edinburgh. I would say absolutely do St. Andrews. It's gorgeous. It's the views. You take the tour of the golf course. Great views great historical value with the cathedral and i would absolutely say drive through the national park cairngorms national park up into the highlands sweet sweet all right lee so i, I guess i would wait a minute um, is there anything else you got you want to talk about no you're done you're done <laughs> i don't want you to say go away from here and say oh they were so rude to me i had three more pages and you guys have been super nice oh thank you i was prepared for way worse it. what we happened failed. Yeah. We failed. what are your what are your final thoughts lee so my end summary is uh, I think Edinburgh is like no other city that I've ever been to. I mean, it just has like a, a magical, majestic feel because it's a castle. You know, the Royal Mile is like nowhere else really. You can go other places and see castles, but it's not always like surrounded by a city. Um, and I, I think it's really cool. I I think, again, Edinburgh is one of those cities that you have to go to at some point because it's there's no other city like it, and uh, I, I don't know that you need a week or anything like that. You know, I, I, I think we were in Edinburgh probably about two and a half days. I probably could have used another day, but uh, it, was, it was fun. It was nice, and then, you know, I didn't get to go to the Scottish Highlands. I, I've got to go back and do that. I mean, that's kind of a dream trip of mine. Uh, and then you can hit. Well, you could probably go there if you're going to Italy eight times a year. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, priorities, man. Priorities. Uh, so, you know, after you leave Edinburgh, you can go to Sterling or Lithlingal, you know, like I talked about uh, with Kara earlier, um, and hit some of these small places and spend like half days or maybe days and on the way up there. And yeah, St. Andrews is a cool place to visit, even if you're not a golf junkie you know i don't really play golf anymore but i still like golf i enjoy golf it's it's a cool place so um i think it's one of those countries that's beautiful you got to go it's it's similar to ireland um so i would say go to one and then go to another and at, a, at a, another point in time and try not to go to both at the same time unless you've really got a ton of time okay well i think my final thoughts are uh we will try to refrain from ever having guests on the podcast well, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm basically a part of the I'm family kidding. now. Oh, yeah. I'm not I'm even kidding. a guest. Uh, no, seriously. It sounds like uh, what I got from this, someone that hasn't been, is that you need to go and plan to rent a car and spend a couple days in Edinburgh, a couple, three days, and then move on and see the countryside. You're going to yeah. want to drive around and maybe spend, spend a night here, spend a night there, go up to uh, St. Andrews, all that kind of stuff. You're not going to want to go to Scotland and say, stay in one city for a week. That's yeah. what I understand from it. There's too much to see to stay just in one city. I would agree. And it's relatively compact, too, in terms of Driving. drivability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, that, that just about does it for us. Um, cue the music, Ben. Uh, Lee, do you want to uh, end with our motto? First of all, why don't you tell people where, where to reach us? Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Why Would You Go There. Follow us on Twitter at Why Would You Go. Uh, you can follow Margaret. Yeah, Margaret. Tell us where they can follow you. I am on Facebook and Instagram, just my name, Margaret Julian. And on Twitter, I'm at Margot Julian. Margo. Margo. I like that. No Max. No Max. That, was, that predates Maggie. Mags. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So it's better to go someplace that you hate than to not go anywhere at all. All right. Beautiful. Okay, we're out. Yeah. What the heck? So oh. successful. Uh, yeah. So so I didn't cry pages, or anything. How many of these pages did you actually get through? 
Yeah. Just give me a... Maybe... I love how you spread them all out there on the table. Oh, yeah. Well, they, I mean, you can't see everything. You just <laughs> haven't... Hey, why don't you read a few of those real quick? Okay. Like, oh, yeah. Reader, yeah, that's like great. That's great. Okay, Friday Travel, Atlanta, <laughs> I something prepared. I can't read, Aberdeen, rental car, <laughs> Garden, Scotland, itinerary. Highland, Saturday, Highlands, Saturday, uh, Highlands, something, Robin Castle, Gulf, Gulf Speak, uh, Scotland, Scotland, Earl's Dukes of Sutherland, oldest of one. Is all this one day? Yeah, I, no, this, this was, just... has moved on to Saturday. <laughs> oldest surviving, blah, blah, I can't read this, most... <laughs> Most something, only great. Uh, that is, that is <laughs> no kidding. All of that I just read was an inch and a half of one page. She has three. But really, the church where they, they got married, Elon Musk got married there. Who's they? The uh, My husband's cousin and oh, husband. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant somebody royal. The wedding Since we went you to. you love the royals. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. uh, Guy Ritchie and Madonna's daughter They're, was baptized are they, there. Are they royal? It depends on who you ask. I mean, not <laughs> like me. Anybody? But not me, but All right. it's a fun fact. Oh, boy. All right. That was good. Yeah. 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 That's fine. It was mediocre. I can't wait yeah. to come back. Oh, I, I cannot yeah. wait to have you back. Sweet. Yeah.